In this video, I'm going to show you how I built an entire mental health web app equipped with voice agents in just less than two weeks. I'll walk you through the sign up and onboarding process, show you how it works live, and also reveal parts of the setup like the custom coded bold.new web app, nine NAN workflows, and the five different kinds of happy voice agents we're developing. And all of this is called Solassium, the future of mental health. Now I could go through the entire website, but I've tried to boil down the features in a separate creation over here. So the concept of Solassium is kind of having like an AI companion, and it offers personalized support that adapts over time as more and more conversations take place. So there are four main modes of support. This includes on-demand support, so you can call whenever you want, morning check-ins, evening support or check-ins, and then just Sunday reflections where you get called every Sunday. And the whole concept of Solassium is to provide a more personalized and genuine experience than most generic chatbots and voice agents do. So not only are all of your preferences and focus areas used to create your voice agent, but you can actually customize the gender of the voice and you can do that fully free forever. That's the mission I had when I was building Solassium, is to make support like this available for everyone. Because therapy, which can be good, and don't get me wrong, but it's way too expensive for most people to afford. And from here, let's just go ahead and sign up for Solassium. Now that I have all of my details filled in and my secret password of testing123 exclamation mark set up, I can go ahead and click on create account. After this, it's going to prompt me to verify my email. And inside of Gmail over here, I can see that I received a notification to verify my email. I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. And it tells me that I've been successfully verified. So now back in Solassium, I can click on I verified my email. And email has been verified successfully. So now it's going to prompt me to add my phone number but i'm gonna skip this for now because i get charged for every verification and over here we have the personal onboarding questionnaire so this consists of five simple questions and all you have to do is just fill in some details so over here i've just filled in some details i'm gonna go ahead and click continue for this let's just say i want to manage my anxiety improve my mood and manage my stress next i want a direct and solution focused companion and right now i'm feeling the six and once again i'm just going to provide a source of stress or concern and then from here is really where it gets powerful so you can choose the preferred gender of the companion i'm going to choose male and for the check-in preferences i'm going to choose daily morning motivation as one of them and then evening reflections as the other i'm going to go ahead and click on complete setup and it's going to redirect me for this particular video because we are tight on time we're only going to be testing the on-demand calling schedule plus another bonus feature i made without telling you but i'm going to provide explainer videos of each mode down below along with the exact same resources i used to build this web app so now we're going to go ahead and receive that call i filled in some details here i want to talk about how to get better sleep manage stress and discuss meditation and then for the details, I just made up the fact that I'm a male in my 20s. Now, if I click on begin voice session, I should really quickly receive the positive webhook notification, which we see over here. It says expect to receive a call soon. So within just a minute, I'm going to receive this call. And over here, I'm actually receiving the call. So let me go ahead and pick that up. Hi, Azim. I'm Alex, here to listen and help you with whatever's on your mind. How's it going today? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing fine today. I'm really glad to hear that, Azim. Um, even just feeling fine uh, can be a win when things are tough. Um, if you want, you can share a bit about your day, or we can just take it easy and chat about lighter things. Whatever feels best for you right now. Yeah, like I said, I want to learn about methods for getting better sleep. Absolutely, Azim. Sleep can make such a difference, especially when things feel heavy. Um, I'm happy to chat about it in a simple way. And you can decide what feels helpful or not. Is there anything you already do that helps you feel comfortable or relaxed before bed? Sometimes little things, like a warm drink, soft lighting, or a favorite show can make bedtime feel nicer. Or if you just want to talk about something else, that's always okay too. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about meditation for sleep specifically. Of course, as a meditation is a gentle way some people use to wind down uh, before bed. It's all about helping your mind to settle. You don't have to do anything complicated, even just focusing on your breath or listening to calming sounds can be enough. Have you ever tried a sleep meditation or is it something you're just curious about? If you want, I can share what it's like or we can talk about what kind of sounds or, or music you find soothing before sleep. Either way, no pressure at all. I just want like a simple sleep meditation, yeah, to just help me relax because my broken leg and all of that stuff, it's been pretty tough with it. That sounds really hard, Azim. It makes sense that resting is tricky with pain and stress going on. We can definitely keep it simple. No expectations. Just a quiet moment together. If you like, you can try this gentle meditation tonight or just listen and see how it feels. Let's take it step by step. Find a comfy position, uh, whatever works best for you. Close your eyes if that feels okay or just keep them soft. Take a slow breath in, let it out nice and easy. Try to notice the way the air feels coming in and out. If your thoughts wander, that's completely fine. Just gently come back to your breath 
You can picture a gentle wave rolling in, then rolling out every time you breathe. Keep going for as long as you like and stop whenever you want. That's all there is to it. Just a little calm moment for yourself. You're not alone, Azim. This space is always here when things feel tough. You know, if you want to pause or talk about something later, we can switch anytime. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to head out for today, but thank you. Of course, Azim. I'm really glad you stopped by. And I'm always here whenever you want to talk or just need a break. Be gentle with yourself tonight. Take care and rest as best as you can. You're doing great, even on the tough days. Awesome. So that was pretty much it. You heard it in action. I'm pretty satisfied with it. It acknowledged my needs and my pain. It gave me some simple but actionable advice. So for example, with that meditation over there, and it told me that I'm not alone. And because of the very granular prompting that the whole AI workflow I'm about to show you does, it makes its tone and style sound and feel human. So over here, what we see is the exact execution of the NAN workflow. It received information from our webhook, which was directly linked to the details I filled out. Then it extracted the information, performed a safety check to make sure that I'm safe and not in a crisis. From there, it passed it on to a mental health AI, which got my data using a Google Sheet tool, and passed on this personalized information to the AI agent that writes prompts. From here, this actually created the agent inside of Vapi. We logged the agent ID inside of the Google Sheets. We fetched an available phone number, we made a call using Vapi, and after that, we simply extracted the information from the call and it went over to the Google Sheet. So now back inside of this Google Sheet, we can see that some more details have been mapped. And the way we did this is that when we first signed up, the onboarding information went directly to this webhook. It extracted this information and then we had two AI agents that logged my information inside of the Google Sheets. And then the second larger workflow, which I just showed you, logged the agent ID we see over here, and then some information about the last conversation. So Azim asked for help improving his sleep through meditation, that sounds correct. And if we go back inside of Vapi and to the assistant section, we will see that the assistant was indeed created and that the ID matches over here. So as you can see, 952, and over here it is 952 as well. And remember when I said I had a bonus feature to show you? This is it. This is an inbound voice agent for Solassium that anyone can call just by dialing the phone number. And once again, it was created to be fully free forever. So this relatively simple inbound assistant has the capability to suggest activities using perplexity and then send over details by email or text, book appointments with licensed therapists in a calendar, as well as answer FAQs and provide resources using a RAG tool setup. So right now, I'm just going to give it a quick call and book an appointment with a therapist. Alex from Salasium, who am I speaking with? Oh, hi there. My name is Azim. Hey, Azim, it's really nice to meet you. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm feeling fine, but it was a bit tough, so I realized that I might need like someone professional to help me out. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. It takes a lot of self-awareness and strength uh, to reach out for professional help. I can help you schedule an appointment with a licensed therapist. Can I ask what time of day works best for you? Uh, yeah, I was thinking tomorrow at 12 p.m. maybe. Got it. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. works. Do you have a preference for your therapist's gender or is anyone okay? And are there specific topics or things on your mind that you'd like to talk about with them? Uh, for the gender, probably I prefer a male therapist. And about the topics, I'm a, I'm a bit too tired to think about anything right now. So I think we're just going to go with the flow. Absolutely, Azim. I'll set you up with a male therapist for tomorrow at 12 p.m. And you don't have to have everything planned. You can just start wherever feels right in the moment. Would you like me to book this appointment for you now? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Done. You're booked for tomorrow at 12 p.m. with a male therapist. You can just show up as you are. No pressure to prepare anything at all. Uh, is there anything else you need right now, Azim? Um, maybe some ideas for relaxing today or just someone to talk to a bit longer? Uh, no, thank you. But I can reach out to you always if I need to, though, right? Absolutely, Azim. Uh, I'm here for you anytime, day or night, no matter what you need, even if it's just a talk. Take good care of yourself and check in whenever you want. You're never alone in this. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're really welcome, Azim. I appreciate you too. Take care of yourself today. So right now, if I go inside of my Google Calendar, the therapist conversation has indeed been booked. So as we can see here, it lasts one hour. And if we look at the description, so this is a very simple appointment booking setup. The person would then receive a phone call. And based on what I was thinking, these conversations with therapists could have been free for people who need it. Because if Solassium was a non-profit, it would be able to provide all of that for its users. So I built Solassium because mental health support isn't accessible enough. But Solassium shows that AI can help solve this issue. So if you found this video and Solassium as a whole to be helpful and useful in the real world, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I will give you complete access to all 9 NAN workflows, the exact bold.new project I used to build this, and the many other resources in the description. So make sure to check that out. Thank you for watching. Bye.